Okay, guys, so we're just going to skip past the get your tea and get your snacks part because low-key, you probably not even finna have an appetite after this, especially if you're a mother. There's a popular channel on TikTok called Scarlet and Tiania. It's basically a white mom with a biracial baby. Somebody's going to say, Derek, why are you talking about their race? It is because there are a lot of channels of parents hanging out with their children on TikTok. But this one specifically is gaining traffic from the shock that people are having when they see a white mom with a black child. In this case, it's a biracial baby, but this is how people are seeing it. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. This right here is beautiful. It's cute. <laughs> I did it! And that experience with your child is cute to watch until it becomes this. Oh, I don't have time to do that. Your brother's gonna do it in the car. Get in your seat now. Let's go, come on. Love you. Can you say hey to everybody? I'm do like, you, do you know where your brush is? Huh? I don't wanna be in there. I don't wanna be in there. <laughs> okay, tell everybody bye. Sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, all right, bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to go. Bye. Sorry. It's okay. If you don't want to be on it, that's fine. All right, here. Bye, y'all. Did you guys see that? Look. The mother doesn't realize that we can see what she's doing off camera. So I zoomed in for you. You guys heard Scarlett say she don't want to be on camera. Look what the mother does. Scarlett, get on the camera right now. Get up now. If this doesn't scream a red flag to you, look at Scarlett's face when she sees the rage of her mother when she doesn't want to get on the camera. She's scared. She looks at the camera and immediately starts crying. And not only that, the way that Scarlett was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why is she apologizing, Tiania? Hey, tell her right bye. No, it's okay. It's okay. When she's saying sorry, I believe it's because she thinks she failed you. If this was supposed to be for fun, why does it look like Scarlett feels pressured to be on a live stream? She's doing it for you because she knows it's important to you. You have portrayed something to her where she's like, I got to do this for mommy. I want to make mommy proud. Now, I already know somebody's going to be like, what are you trying to say, Derek? Are you trying to say that the mother is exploiting her child for profit? I'll do you one better. Watch this. Oh, my daughter is good. She's good. And she loves doing videos. And if she doesn't, then we, then we go, then we do what? Then we're like, okay, well, we just won't do them anymore. That's why I told her. Because well, mommy will find another way to make money, okay? To make money, okay? If she doesn't want to do it, mommy will find other ways to make money. Now, language is key guys a person with other sources of income would not say it's okay i will find other ways to make money they would say it's okay because i already make good money outside of this so now at this point anyone that's watching this now has to agree that she is using her child as one of her main sources of income now this is where the controversy starts because more than half of you guys are these comments. Am I the only one who sees nothing wrong with this particular video? How's this different than any other creator and their kids? She takes care of her child more than the people in these comments. Y'all mad. She had a regular job, then realized she can make more money doing these videos. Her and Scarlett started content creating. Of course she's making money off Scarlett just like all these other creators making money off their kids. The comments do not pass the vibe check, but thank God for these replies. It is wrong for anyone to exploit their child for some money. Just people are finally bringing this to light and it needs to happen with all. You guys know that child actors are coming out saying they were abused, right? If not physically, then definitely emotionally. You mean the same child actors that grow up and speak about the abuse and exploitation they go through? You guys could go on Google right now and search up child stars that was exploited and look at this list. 
And all of them, if not most of them, have an article that shows how this negatively affected them mentally, if not physically. You got Macaulay Culkin on here, Amanda Bynes, Raven Simone. But the one that we're going to talk about today is Jeanette McCurdy. If you don't remember, she was on a popular TV show called iCarly. That's her. And years later, she wrote a book called I'm Glad My Mom Died which was a memoir about how her whole childhood and adolescence was very exploited to make full use of and derive benefit from. Exploitation of labor. One agent taking unfair advantage of another agent. An unequal power dynamic. Mother and daughter. Mommy knows what's best, so get to work. Don't fail mommy. Jeanette says her mom became fixated on making her famous when she was six years old. She said my mom had always dreamt of being a famous actor and she became obsessed with making me a star. Now listen to what she says about this experience, guys. What made you realize that you had been really abused? Mm. I'm glad you asked. I think this is an important kind of area. The first therapist that I saw... As I was just, just sort of sharing anecdotes of my experience with my mom, she eventually got to the point where she said, you know, what you're describing is abuse, and I left. I quit therapy. I couldn't tolerate the idea, the notion that my mom was abusive because that would mean bringing her down off that pedestal and reframing my entire life. Yeah. My whole existence was sort of revolved around this idea that my mom knows best and what my mom wants for me is better than what I want for me because she knows better and I'm nothing without her. So mm -hmm. to try and unpack that was something I wasn't willing to do initially and it took me a while to be able to say you know what I'm gonna try therapy again I'm gonna face that she was abusive I'm gonna deal with whatever that entails so guys this is one of the reasons why parents should not be allowed to use their child as one of their main sources of income aka exploiting by definition and I really hate to do this, but I want to speak for some people that I know is watching this. Tiania has other children, but they're white. Now, maybe there's another channel that I don't know about, but how come she ain't posting them like crazy? Now, I found her personal channel, and they don't seem to be anywhere on there either. Maybe they don't like being on videos, and I think they don't live with her. But I found that interesting. Not only that, she named her channel Scarlet's Mama. <laughs> Smells like favoritism. I found this video and it's a slideshow of a lot of pictures of her kids with Scarlet. So like that means they definitely come over and visit at least often enough. But no TikToks. The reason why this is important is because it paints an interesting picture. Why is she prioritizing Scarlet so hard? I believe that Tiania loves her daughter with all of her heart and she also is looking for her best interest. She wants to take care of her. She loves her daughter, bro. But Tiania also knows that her blackness is a marketing tool. It's obvious that the other kids that she have is not giving her the viewership that she needs to make a profit. And to some people, that's like, whoa, you're profiting off of her blackness. And not only that, you pressure her to go live. And that can put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So as I said, this is the controversy that is currently happening on TikTok. So guys, this has gotten so huge that 14 hours ago, Tiania had to make a response and also share this so we can protect other children from being exploited. Okay, I wanted to wait to address this whenever I got back home as we were on vacation and Scarlett feeds off of my energy and I just want it to be, uh, I just want her to have a really good time. Hold on. Is that a toilet? Are you, in, what, is, is, is that the, or is it the sink? Which, is that the sink or the toilet? All right, go on. Said, first, I did not flip Scarlett off, okay? Anyone that knows me knows that 
I am an amazing mom. And that's one thing that I freaking know for sure. That, yes, I yell, okay? I'm a yeller. I don't spank, so I yell, basically. Every once in a while, Scarlett's maybe got three spankings in her whole entire life, and she's almost six, okay? So, um, Scarlett don't listen. She don't listen. So, uh, it's something that we're working on, and uh, before that, before this video, like before that little clip came out, the beginning of the live, she was being silly and joking and all that. I asked her, do you want to go live? Because we were on Amazon Live. These people that are doing this don't like me. They have not liked me since 2020, November, I think it was like November 2020. These people have uh, a vendetta, or whatever that word is called. For me, it's it has nothing to do with Scarlett. They're not trying to save Scarlett or whatever they're trying to do. They don't like me. Okay, they, they have uh, something against me, and they are trying to bring me down uh, and um, and mess up my reputation and me as a mom and me as my character. Back to Scarlett, don't listen. Scarlett, don't freaking listen, okay? I'll tell her five million times to do something, okay? Whereas, and so maybe about the fifth time, I'm a little freaking perturbed, and I'm like, Shh, oh, right now, okay? Maybe... No, for sure, I should have cut it off before then. 100%. I should have cut off the video before I say get up. Okay? I should have done that. It's not really the yelling that triggered people. There was too many things that happened in that whole exchange. One, you were quietly acting aggressive outside of the camera to get her to get on the live stream. Since it looked like you believed that nobody could see you, that means on camera, you would have played a different character. So now we're like, what are you doing behind closed doors? And two, the way that Scarlett was heavily apologizing when she didn't want to get on a live stream and you wanted her to. She felt like she failed you. So now we're looking at this like, okay, you pressure her to go live. I believe that these are the two biggest factors that make everyone on TikTok concerned. I should have not talked about her itching on live. I should have not done that. Um, so I am agreeing with y'all on that, but I did not flip my child off. I do not abuse her at all. Scarlett is living her best life. She is good, y'all. And the fact that y'all are like, the fact that y'all have no idea and you're literally telling me to go off myself and, and messaging my children and messaging my family, like, I don't understand. Like, the hate messages that I'm getting right now, and everybody is so about mental health right now, and y'all are like, telling me to go jump off a brick and bridge. Like, over something, you know, you have no idea what has happened. I do not make Scarlett go live. I do not make her do videos. I ask her. You can ask anybody in my life. I always ask her, do you want to do this? If she says no, we don't do it. So, like I said, there it is. I'm an amazing mom. My boys know I'm an amazing mom. Scarlett knows that I love her so much. And thank you so much for all the support and love from everybody that is out there. Now, as I said, I do believe that she loves her daughter, bro. I, I believe she really cares about her daughter. But we got to talk about power dynamics, or in this case, a power imbalance. Now, she says she will ask Scarlett, hey, do you want to go live? If she says yes, we go live. If she says no, we don't go live. Now, one thing that we got to talk about is what often happens when there's a power imbalance. For multiple different factors, the person in the weaker position can end up feeling pressured to submit to the person with more power or authority. So a really good example would be how sometimes you have that man that'll ask a girl for her phone number. A woman will often give it to the man, not because she had interest, but because she was scared for her life. And a man might not realize this because there's a power imbalance when it comes to physical strength. So even though she said that Scarlett said yes to doing the TikToks and the videos, based on these videos, I bet some of the time that she says yes is because you are in a very powerful, authoritative position. Mommy knows best and she wants to please you. She wants you to praise her for like doing a good job. She don't want you to be mad at her. Hence why in this video, she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think Tiania loves her daughter, but she doesn't understand the power imbalance between them and how this can affect her child. So guys, I'm out of here. 
What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 750,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced. But it was so easy to throw us away. And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be. I fucking love you, but not more than me. When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regret. You acting different, I'm peeping on that. I really wanted to stay till the end. But I gotta take off these rose colored glasses. And know when it's time for me to walk away. So I can say we wanted different things. All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it. Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch. <laughs> it's breaking my heart, cause I know that it's one that you dig. You really thought I would lay up in it. But I let you go, cause I know that I tried.